Tell me something, Miss Allison. You are the most widely read journalist, male or female, in the country. What are you doing out here? I go where the story takes me. Oh. You did something to get yourself excommunicated. I have met Miss Ida Greeley. She's very fetching. Were you a man, I am sure that Mr. Greeley would welcome whatever affection you felt toward his daughter. Perhaps you could tell a story for me now that would hasten my return back to New York. Consequences. You want to do that? Yeah. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. You surprise me, Miss Ellison. A nice dinner and a glass of wine don't change the truth. Mr. Bohannon sees the world in black and white. But we don't, do we? I suspect what you and I have in common, Mr. Campbell, among other things, is the certainty that the world is neither black nor white, but decidedly gray. That's what makes it both daunting and at times alluring. Not to mention surprising. Perhaps it wouldn't be intolerable to discuss the world in all its shades of gray over lunch at the Palmer. That wouldn't be intolerable at all, Mr. Campbell. What are you thinking? Your past romantic predilections. When I was younger, I used to think it made me abnormal. What do you want, John Campbell? You. That was not the passion of a woman. That was the triumph 
of curiosity over experience. Several triumphs. <laughs> Two.